Good evening and welcome back to Geek Feng Shui, where we find the Feng Shui and perhaps karma of geeks. A shout out to my fellow geeks at Chaotic Good Brewing Company in Casson. I am not uh, paid or otherwise compensated for shouting out other than to share great times. We had fun at Dungeons and Dragons the other night and we had trivia. We won two weeks in a row thanks to my beautiful bride and her wealth of knowledge and history of both 80s history and Minnesota history and the fact that uh, I graduated the year that MTV came out and didn't really know anything of it and fortunately she graduated a couple of years later from high school and was well aware of it and then also uh, this this week or tonight we have Minnesota trivia and her dad has a beer sign that when we went all in we've got the right hams beer clear blue waters so anyway Tonight, we're going to try something a little different. A game that I had played when it first came out years ago. And uh, I found that the original uh, version one of the Tomb Raider doesn't quite work online, but they came out with an anniversary version that we're going to try a little bit tonight just to walk you through it and get things started. Of course, I hit the wrong one here. Here we go. Tomb Raider Anniversary is um, a remake of Tomb Raider 1. I did get it, but I can't get it to run consistently, and I think that's they redid it on the anniversary. There's also a 10th anniversary project that was apparently canceled and the fans finished. I do have that, but it's a little kind of different. I have to play around and see if I get used to it. The advantage here with this is I can use a controller. But as you see, it's in windowed mode because it didn't handle the uh, big screen as well as I would like. But this will give you a taste because I do have the latest Tomb Raider and one that was supposedly really good before that but after the anniversary that I'll probably do a video on as well. Making sure that I got all my microphones and everything all set. Um, one thing that was kind of fun, you can go in and play the game, or you can do a mini game, which is a puzzle called Playcroft Manor. I think that's what I'm going to do for the uh, first video before we get into the game. Um, if you've watched Tomb Raider, the movie, the first one, you'll uh, appreciate the Croft Manor here. The one thing Ms. that... Croft, pardon the mess in the foyer, but a rather large shipment of antiquities Tomb arrived while you were out. I would have had the crates placed in the gallery, but the security so, alarm has somehow been activated. may not run this whole thing, and I will admit, I if this was not concerning tried to enough, play it before it got so far. The water supply to the you go watch a playthrough, so I don't like, like too much of the video. Back in On the day, we didn't side, have a I've located your missing YouTube, and, returned it to and I do remember playing this in your room. and getting Faithfully stumped and playing service, the game anyway. Princeton. So what you have here is I'm play you can play with a keyboard or a controller. One thing to notice is there's always going to be highlights of something. Oh, what does that tell you? So if I jump off of this... No, that goes back up. So that means I have to go pull something out here. This was um, the original. I will find the link and link it down below. Um, comparisons of the Tomb Raiders. One anniversary and then the... Uh, So that's open. 
there is something to get. Let's see, where was it? I didn't see it the first time here. That is one of the things. Oops. The blocks were part of the design scheme of the original Tomb Raider 1 because back in the day they didn't really have um, really good gaming engines as they do now. Up here. So when you come up here, sometimes the best thing to do is look around a room from a high point and you see that over there, that little globe over what is her shoulder. And you can jump up and climb a lot. This is a lot of Tomb Raider. So when you get close to something, you notice the exclamation point. That means it's something you want to do. So this happens to be the sculptor gear. I wonder where this goes. And it gives you a checkpoint. So what I did next was realize I can't get in the fire because I don't have any water. And there's a thing here where it tells you hey, you got to move that. That's just a reminder that you had to move that. Now, when you're looking around the room, once again, since I was up on the high ground, I usually go upstairs first and work my way down. That was like a cutscene when you open and close the door, which was the way they did it back and then. Notice Laura doesn't have her guns yet. There's no wrong way to do it except now when you come in. Oh no, the alarm is set off. What to do, what to do. So you look around the room and you think like Laura Croft. Or Angelina Jolie is the case maybe. One thing that is always annoyed a lot of, of uh, gamers of the is that Tomb Raider, for better or for worse, is an, a female character designed by male engineers. The story behind that is when they first came out with Tomb Raider, they were going to have a male actor like uh, Indiana Jones, but they were told for. Uh, now copyright procedures to they uh, need to do something different and I will try to include that video um, talking about all the variations of Tomb Raider now you notice unlike Diablo 2 or 3 or 1 this is not the you know click and move they did try and I, in that video they'll show they did try the uh, same type of look as that it didn't necessarily go over well with people because they wanted more of this for the game consoles is where a lot of this went. And there was one version that was game console only, but eventually got to PC. So back to here. Now a tip with Tomb Raider is they give you a hint. So if you notice there's not a railing here, that means that she must have to jump. Now if you're a klutz like me, I jumped down to the ground. That Somehow I did it right that time, but I jumped down to the ground. And then you shoot that before the picture goes up, otherwise you lose it. Now you notice... I read all of these. She can go through and read the different books. They'll the tell ruins you. of Atlantis were lost beneath the sea when the glaciers melted some 10,000 years ago. As he struggled mightily to calm himself, 
Gilead removed the poison arrow from its quiver. And I'll include the walkthrough I watched. It was kind of fun to watch, because even if you watch it, there, these Anyone puzzles with, even a cursory knowledge of mineralogy with would arrive at the same conclusion. Tomb Raider. Wherever this Isis stone was formed, it wasn't can sometimes give you a headache <laughs> when you're trying to figure them out. So you, they give you hints. It's like, you know, to open that, these books stuck out. They're lighter than the bookcase around them. And uh, I, at first, when I came up here, I thought, and you can shoot. Look at books. When the Spaniards had all but wiped out the Incan Empire, the remaining survivors fled to the mountains and disappeared. Legends say they retreated to the hidden city of Vilcabamba. My wife watched me play this earlier, you know, just watching as a female character. So, well, you know, at first, so you saw the little exclamation point. I guess I don't have to jump up there. You have to wait till the exclamation point and then you collect these little elephants. They're all, apparently they're all over the place. And yes, I know that because I did the walkthrough, but I saw that before and collected it. So. Now this is a trick of determination because you can come in here and you get this bucket. This could come in handy. That may, obviously it's a hint. My thought is, okay, I'm gonna move these you don't have to. It drove me crazy trying to figure out what was going on. Well, it turns out she just can blow them up because if you don't want to climb all the way over. I guess it's just a shooting thing. So we're going to come up here. I was pretty proud of myself. I got through all of this. The only thing I didn't get to do was the door open, and uh, apparently, I, I don't know if I was missing something. We'll find out here. But, uh, you look for the highlighted details. Now, you notice that little glow around that item there. You do a lot of shooting, you can't really hurt much of anything. Just have to wait for the the uh, exclamation point. This belongs down anything. in the garden. What's it doing in here? Now the other thing you're going to want to do is go through and read these books because there's there's the books are there for a reason. The concept of the sundial has existed for thousands of years and is one of the earliest devices for time measurement. There's some numbers written on the inside cover. 11, 2, 7. I wonder what they refer to. I remember those numbers, 11, 2, and 7. They don't mention things just for nothing. The roots of the banyan tree grow relentlessly and in every direction. Many of the ancient temples of Angkor have been brought down as those roots exploit the small spaces between their massive stones. And while any number of things can go wrong underground, the most dangerous aspect of spelunking is exposure to methane gases, which are difficult to detect without specific equipment. So, we'll look around here. Is there anything else that jumps out? Even after I break glass, because you do have to break glass to get into some of these things. So we're going to go look. Even those are lighter, there's nothing there. And that's what gets kind of, we really want to have a good monitor to, to notice the differences here. I think I'm missing something. I found it last time. Let's see if I can find it this time. <coughs> I 
Because you're locked in here. I think we got all the books out of here, so let's go back to the other room. Let's see what there is to see, because I think there's something else I need to get. So I could not get this door to open, and then I uh, watched the walkthrough, and they just, once they found everything, they it worked for them. See, shooting these, the only advantage is it makes it easier to go back and forth. You don't really need to shoot them. I didn't the first time I went through. Drove me crazy trying to figure out because if there's blocks, that means you move them. So, ha! Ah, see the, the book up up here. This is a map of the maze that you will find later. No wonder father never got lost. I read all of these. I've never been fond of locked doors. So you can't do anything with that one, but I think in the other room you can. We'll see if I can this time. So when you're going through, they give you plenty of hints. It's just you got to be eagle-eyed to see them. I do like being able to play with the controller. I've just gotten used to it, obviously, with uh, Assassin's Creed. That's and that, one. yeah. So now you can go out. But in the original game, you didn't really see her from the front like you see here. I don't remember which one I started with, if it was the original one or not, but uh, I told her, my wife, I said, well, it's kind of funny because you don't see her from the front. And then at the end of the particular one I was playing, I get up in a shower scene and she turns around, looks at you like she, you're watching her undress, and then she pulls up a shotgun and it fades to black, which was the hoot of that... Uh, Game, particular game I was playing because it's the only time you saw it from the front. And I went through a lot of the different games to see which one reminded me of which one that was and I could Let's see. We have here. Something's missing. So they give you a foreboding. I've never been fond of locked doors. Okay, so that is not anything we need, I don't think. That was the room we went into when we came up and got locked in. Okay, there's something else over here. The legend tells us that the kings of Tibet were descendants from heaven with ropes attaching them to heaven itself. When they died, a heavenly creature would pull the ropes up, bringing their bodies up with them. It was kind of fun playing this where you're not really getting attacked by anything or doing the storyline. It's just a mini, short little puzzle thing to keep one entertained. And if you watch, again, watch Tomb, Tomb Raider 1, you're very familiar with the uh, manor. Angela Jolie shoots it up and is attacked. So I don't know if I've been in these rooms. You watch for highlighted or the exclamation point.
Oh, this is the room I was in before. Never mind. Anyway, it kind of gives you an initial taste of what you're going to deal with in the game where you're trying to figure out how to go from point A to point B. So now we're in a room that has what? This is where you gotta look at everything in the room, high and low. Pink is the new black. Pink is the new black. All right. Nothing there. I think I'll slip into something else. So if there was a outfit you had that was where you would change. I don't, there's apparently nothing yet. Oh, there's a hiding spot. Or if you remember in the opening letter, talk, you put it back in a hiding place. Where that hiding place is. Anybody's guess. But I think we look for light items and you guess. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. And there is. I wonder the... if Winston read any of it. So that is achieved. Because this is a timed run, so you'll get a time, so that you can come back and try to do this quicker once you know where everything is. I'll take you outside and You can kill yourself off by jumping on those things. Now again, the water's off, so you can't. And you have a bucket, though. So if you can find water, then you could probably put out that fire. So this is a room that would normally have water, but does not. This is one of those typical puzzle rooms that you'll find. Um, there's little hooks that you have to get a, a grapple for. And you have got the grapple just like you just got your pistols. So you can go out and find it.
And I believe this takes us out to the garden. Nope, this is another puzzle room that we'll get to later. Because you don't have your grapples yet. It's kind of neat with the 10th anniversary um, version of it that they did do a lot more to it. So better uh, coloring to it, but it doesn't have the manner in it. Um, why the 10th anniversary was canceled, I don't know. There was a lot of um, stuff going on with the companies back then that they changed from their initial one and. As developers go, there's always a change of direction based upon who's paying who to do what, when, and where, and that's just the politics of game design, apparently. You see it even today. So this is the Gardon. Again, where you have water. Clearly, would normally be coming out of these fonts. Now, do you remember? Let's see, try this again. Whatever reason, cycle items. We're going to put that in there. Do you remember what it was? 1172, was it? So we want to go to. So oh, you see how it raises up. So even if you don't, this just proves time never stands still. There you go. So we have a maze map. onto a specific target. I didn't read the maze map. I don't know if oh it's gonna show us. Come up here it gives us a hint. Precursor, there's my grappling gun I have to get to. This is where you can run into the maze. Try to figure your way around. I just managed to know what that was. I didn't quite when I watched the walkthrough. So I don't know if this has anything to do with actual I 
I don't know if I'm supposed to know where I'm going here at this point. So you can spend a lot of time on these puzzles trying to figure out what is what, what is where. <laughs> Here's a pool where water would be another statue. So yeah, if you like puzzles or know somebody likes puzzle, the manner is definitely what you want to do. But uh, I will put a link into the walkthrough down below here. And we're going to go back to the game. And uh, yeah, all this shit. So we're going to... That's the matter. Now this is the game. We're going to do medium difficulty. Now, what's a man got to do to get that sort of attention from you? If that's the sort of attention you want, Larson, you're well on your way. Sounds like fun. But I'm only here to make an introduction. Lara Croft, meet Jacqueline Natla of Natla Technologies. Good afternoon, Miss Croft. My research department has recently turned its focus to the study of ancient artifacts, and I'm led to believe that, with the right incentive, you're just the woman to find them for me. I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. Which is precisely why I've come to you, Miss Croft. This is a game you've played before, with your father. You both spent years searching for the Skion of Atlantis. All you needed was the location of Qualopec's tomb. You <laughs> found Vilcabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? Please subscribe and like the video. Vilcabamba help continues to elude us. The channel. And my insistence that we press on no its failures has morale low. I suspect Jenkins to be the author of this sedition. He simply refuses to accept the possibility that Atlantis is the foundation of the world. That was lighter color. That means that you can grapple it. All those civilizations were built. Increasingly, I find it is Lara alone who remains untainted by academic dogma and open-minded enough to see this truth. Once you play this, even this 10th anniversary is good graphics. You get into the later ones and they get better and better. And Shadow of Tomb Raider, I think, is one I have that is the latest one. That one has really good graphics. Lo siento! No traje bastante cuerda! Not to worry, I'll find another way up. One thing is, um. So here, when I do an X, I have grapple. So we gotta figure out a way to get up high. Nope. Oh. 
what you gotta do is you gotta jump and then press the <laughs> there is a uh, way to do this I forget which button it is other than control the pistol. So we'll try it on the keyboard thing here. So, using the control keys. So, let's try it on the controller. Of course, they don't tell you what they are because they're meant for. Now well, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. Keyboard it is. Shift key, that would be helpful if I did it the right way. So I move along here. They give you hints. I mean, there are advantages to using a keyboard that you just don't have with a controller. drop off like I just did, guess what? All the way back. Yeah, you gotta be careful because it's it's easy to jump. You get the gist of it. figure this out at another time so I'll try to go back up here and uh, 
But yeah, it's it's kind of fun. Frustrating, but fun nonetheless. I would just learn to coordinate. Yeah, you're allowed to laugh. This is a lot of what Tomb Raider was. Learning how to coordinate your jumps. It's frustrating, but entertaining for those not doing it. You can laugh at me, with me, whatever you want to call it. to use the shimmy thing and you gotta remember to climb up we're gonna do it this time and yes I do not I just download this today so those of you laughing I'd like to see you do better Try to figure out a game. Keyboard is a little different than when we're used to it. There. So after you screw this up, as many times as I have, you learn to tell you what to do. Those are a little art, artsy fartsy. Now you see that little ring up there. So what that has to do is with the grapple. Since I you know, if I can't do this right. Alright, but you gotta make sure you you know where she is. So, 
I'm going to do this with the... I think I have a little bit better... So what you do here... And voila! We made it! So yeah, there's there's a learning curve. Mira, ya llegamos. No sé cómo abrirlo. So, ah, you look up there and you can see something. So we got to figure out is how to get up there. That looks like... Go back to the figuring out. Oh. I had this... Do it the keyboard way. Control key, Bob. I don't want to have to figure out how to do that on the controller because I thought I had that figured out. Here, you can time this right. Let's grab onto that. But you get the idea. What you're going to have to do is go up there and get that. I'm not going to... I'm going to waste any more time here for the moment because this is just kind of an intro to the game. And we'll go through and figure out how to do the controller better. But this is Tomb Raider Redone. So you get to kind of see the character stuff going through on it. So, apologize for the uh, oopsies and stuff, but then I thought I'd do a little thing different tonight and just kind of give you an introduction and uh, come back later and I'll go through and figure it out and uh, we'll do another video where I actually don't mess up as much because I prefer using a controller. Yeah. Jump. That's just to shoot. I'll give you a vertigo here. I'm just going to try to do different.
Yeah, I don't know what the controller is. Use the lift. Oh. Anyway, I will do this when I'm not eating up so much. It's just irritating. Aha! Figured it out. It's the button bump bumper as you guys were yelling and throwing popcorn at the screen. Ah. So. What I have to do here. Is plan my jump better. So anyway, now we got that figured out. Let's try one more time here. And I should have pulled up. This is the fun of learning a game. So you get to see what an idiot playing does. And you see the learning curve. So. So we're there. Now it comes the fun of jumping up. Not down. This is how you practice. So eventually you can just do a smooth run like this. to pull yourself up before you let go. Again, grabbing and holding the button it helps. So this is where I want to go. So can I jump up there? I think so. So that's what I was trying to do. Ah. If there's a way to screw it up, I'm going to find out. Now I'm determined. This is the aggravating fun of Tomb Raider. Because you can just miss something by a fingernail. So you hold the bumper down. Come up here. You got the exclamation point, and we're golden for the next scene that you've been dying to see. You no, know I will not go out and cut all that crap out. I'm gonna let you watch it and be amused. Now that I know what I'm doing with the controller. See a good streamer would have done this edit. Next video, I'll start 
from the uh, beginning of the game ago long now that I know how to use the controller. I don't like using the keyboard. In this game, it just seems I have more control. Poor guy. And that's where I think I am going to quit. You could save if you want to. But I'm going to come back and do a fresh run and now that I know what I'm doing with the uh, controller. And that is Tomb Raider Anniversary, which is a redo of Tomb Raider 1, uh, which is a fun game. I have other Tomb Raiders I'll be showing off, and I'll be a little bit better at uh, gameplay. But I want to come back and just kind of run the game from the start. And that's it. So even with all the idiocy, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shout out to Canada Good Brewing. And check out breweries in your own local area. Like the video as much as you might not hurt you to laugh watching it. We do what I didn't do very well. And have a good one.